Hey guys, it's me Rana and today I would like to show you how to make this beautiful and yummy fruit cake. The best thing about it is so easy and it's so delicious. I love it. Everyone in my family loves it. And also you can use any type of fruits uh, each time I make it. I use different types of fruits, just anything you want or anything you have in your fridge. Today actually it's a special request from my brother. He loves this cake so much. When I was visiting him in England, I was making this every single day for him. So if you would like to know how to make it, please keep watching. So for our ingredients we are going to need 150 grams of sugar, uh, 60 grams of ground almonds, 115 grams of melted butter, 3 small or 2 big eggs, 130 grams of plain flour and 350 grams of fruits. I have here 450 grams of fruit. Then uh, cinnamon, salt, vanilla and 1.5 teaspoon of baking powder. And also we are going to need caster sugar for decoration, it's optional. Also, we are going to need spring for pan. Don't forget to grease it or spray it with one of those non-stick sprays. I just lightly butter it and also line it with a parchment paper. And now for our dry ingredients, we are taking a bowl and taking our 130 grams of flour, adding there 60 grams of ground almonds and our pinch of cinnamon, pinch of salt, um, a little bit of vanilla extract and also one and a half teaspoon of baking powder. Now we are whisk all together to combine all ingredients. And for our wet ingredients we are going to need mixer. I have a hand mixer. We are taking our eggs and beat it with sugar on really high speed for about five minutes. So the consistency should look very light, light and pale yellow color just like that. So it will take about 5 minutes. Then we add in our melted butter and mix it together. Don't beat it, just mix it well for a few seconds. And then we add in our dry ingredients from the first bowl. Just gently and slowly add it to our butter. First mix it just like that because you don't want all the flour comes to your face. And then you just mix it normally. Just a little bit, about 10 seconds, don't need much, just to mix all the ingredients. So our butter actually is done, see the consistency of it? That's how it should look at this point. Now let's cut our fruits and add it to our butter. I just cut it in like this way, just little cubes or slices, all, all up to you, just the way you want it. I like it this way and yeah, now we will add it to our butter. So two thirds of our fruits we are adding to our butter and one third we will put it on top later because our fruits will go down a bit so we won't see what our cake look like with what it inside. So what I like to do, I just like to put two thirds and leave one third decoration and now we are mixing our fruits and our butter all together. Mix it well so everything nice and combined. And now we will put it in our form. So gently put it in our form. Don't forget to grease and line it with a parchment paper otherwise it will be impossible to remove it from our pan. You can use your spatula or I'm just using the back of my spoon to spread it evenly. I do this to remove extra air from our dough and now I put it to preheated oven 180 degrees Celsius for 15 minutes. That's how our cake look at this point. See, it's lightly brown but it's very soft, it's firmed a bit but it's not cooked inside. So now I'm putting the rest of the fruits so now we will see actually 
what this cake contains, what fruits, and it goes into the oven for 15 to 20 minutes. This time it took me 20 minutes because cake contains lots of fruits. And again, for 15-20 minutes, it depends on your oven. So after 20 minutes, our cake is completely done. I'm just checking it with my toothpick. See, it's come out clearly, so it, it means that it's completely done. If it have crumbs, then put it to your oven again. Now I'm just um, cutting the edges like with a sharp knife so it come out easily. And actually our cake is done now. I just like to put a little bit of custard sugar or also it's called icing sugar on top. I just like the way it looks and also I like the extra sweetness to my cake. And we are done. I hope you really like this uh, tutorial. It's so easy. I love this recipe. Uh, yeah, bon appetit and I will see you in my next video. Bye!